I rule. F5 give you a flexibility and very powerful tool using the I rule kind of situation where or, or I rules um, kind of split, which allow you to do so many things in certain situation. Let's look what is I rule actually. So I rule understanding it example. I rule what is I rule itself. I rule root map. So we're just giving you an example of I rule root map with the example of I rule root map actually. Some kind of policy based routing. You might be already exposed to it. Understanding the I rule structure. I rule structure event declaration. Structure and operator. I rule example. Any question answer. And of course at the end of there is a lab as well. Okay. So that's the agenda for I rule. So first of all, let's just understand the I rule. We just uh, this diagram, this picture, what these guys are doing. These are mil military guys. They are maybe on the war situation. They are discussing the plan. Actually, they might have a couple of plans. So according to the situation, they are saying the plan A would be if we are successful, we are entering into, for example, our enemy base. And if we are not, how we can back out, for example. So in whatever the situation will be, there will be if statement. If we if we achieve this, we will do this. If we don't achieve this, we will do, we will back out. And how we back out this is the kind of plan they're doing. So just an example to understand the I rule actually as well. Another example, which is maybe a day to day, a very useful case, for example, which will be our lab scenario as well. In certain situation, you want to say, if the request is coming from, for example, let's say you have a four server, 100, 100, 101, 100, 203. You are saying if the get request is coming from the client, if the client is using Explorer, it will be served by the 100. If the client is using Firefox, it will be served by 101. If the client is using Edge, it will be served by 102. If, if the client is using any other browser, like Microsoft Chrome, Micro, uh, sorry, uh, Google Chrome and also Opera, they will be served by 103 server. Okay, so this is the like our day to day example of use cases. Keep in mind if statement, if match the value, do this. If the match the value, do this. If match value, do this. If not, then the value do. So this is the kind of a very powerful tool we can use in IDLE. I don't root map. So just another example I'm giving you a root map You've already exposed into the root map. A root maps are similar to script language. A list of the statement composes a root map. The list of the process top down list like an access list. The first match found the root is applied. The sequence number is used to insert or deleting the specific root map statement. So you can see if I if a root map my BGP is permit 10 match statement. If it's matched to this particular statement, then set this. If it's not matching to this statement, there is deny, and if not, if it matches to particular three, then the. So you can see you have a match statement that if matched to a particular situation, then the following criteria will be set. So that's more like a CCNP kind of concept because we use the daily today basis. Policy based routing. We can also understand I rule because of the policy based routing. If you look at this diagram on the network point of view, what you are saying is, if the host for the testing, so what you have designed an environment policy based routing, which normally doesn't use the so uh, destination based uh, script, it use the IP address, host IP address. So what we are saying, if the web traffic is coming, it should follow this path, frame lay. If the other any other traffic is coming, it be used follow this path. This is on this router by using some route map or other functionality was using full policy based routing, we can define our policy on the router. That's another idea you might already exposed. So let's just go into the big oh, into the I rule. I rule is a powerful and a flexible feature for big IP devices based on the I5 exclusive PMOS architecture. I rule provide you with the unprecedented control to directly manipulate and manage an IP application traffic. An I rule is a powerful and a flexible feature within the big IP local traffic management system that you can manage your traffic using syntax breaks on the industry standard tools, command TCL. The I rules feature not only allow you to select tool based on the header data, but also allow you to direct traffic by searching on any type of the content data that you predefine. 
Another use case you can see an eye rule feature significantly uh, enhance your ability to customize your uh, content switching. Another maybe useful feature, for example, uh, when you log in, when you go to a different country and you can uh, go to google.com and you can see based on the source IP address, the Google has decision make that, okay, if it's come to the German IP address or UK IP address or US IP address, it will go to a particular Google domain, for example. So you can look at the local translation, local news, actually. Understanding of the I rule, how we can understand the I rule. I rule is a script that you would do right if you want a function to target a pool other than the default pool defined by the virtual server. Okay? So whatever the virtual server you have defined, it's a little bit different than that. So it's a script that you would write if you want individual section to target a pool other than the default pool. I rule allow you to more directly specific the destination to which you want to traffic to be directed. Using I rule, you can send traffic not only to pools but also to individual pool members like ports and the UI. And there is a comment you can see here. We will share with you, and you will see there are a lot of example has been given. As a network engineer or network security engineer or F5 engineer, I rule is a language as actually. Maybe these languages will be created as a programmer, then you will be attaching with the different tools in the F5. I pull structure. I rules are made of the, these basic elements. When HTTP, HTTP request comes in, if the HTTP host contains I rule 168, portrait.com, it will be served by this pool. If not, then it will be served by this pool. Okay? This is one of the examples. So it has the event declaration, it has the operator, and it has the I rule command. I rule structure, rule name, when event, if the condition, as condition, whatever it is, action two. Structure event declaration, I rules are event driven, which means that the big IP system triggers are I rule based on an event that you specify in the I rule. An event declaration is the specification of an event within the I rule that causes big IP to trigger that I rule whenever the event occurs. Example of event declaration that can trigger an I rule are HTTP request, which trigger an I rule whenever the system receives an HTTP request, and client acceptance, which trigger an IP rule, uh, I rule when a client has accepted the connection. Structure and operator, an I rule operates to operator uh, to operate operands in an expression in addition to using PC operated operator, you can use the operator listed in the table. Relational, uh, uh, relational uh, operator contain matches equal start with ends with matches regex logical operators not and end. so if you want to go deep into that there is a document there is a website here and you can actually log, look into the further script here if you want to further master into it I know the overall objective here is just to introduce you and practice few example and making sure you will be do be able to use I rule in a day to day example. So, for example, there is another example request from a particular subnet. If the request is coming from this, use pool 1. If not, then the pool 2. That's the example we will be using. If the request is coming from Google browser and type what is user agent. So, what is user agent? It just actually defines uh, which, which browser you are using. You can also type this, what is my user agent, for example. What is my user agent? You see, I'm coming from Edge. That's the Edge I'm using. Okay. So by using the user agent, uh, we can it can it can check which browser you're coming from, and then appropriately it define what can you do. I will example as we mentioned here. If the client request comes in as a get request, you can say if the request is coming from Explorer, it recognizes the request is coming from Explorer from the user agent. It will be served by this pool or it will be served by Porfox, it will be served by this pool, Microsoft Edge will be served by this pool, otherwise it will be served by the third pool. So that's the request you can see, that's the, uh, uh, we have already created a script which we will be uh, attached with our tool. Any question so far about iRoom? No? 
and thank you. We'll do the lab in a minute. Thank you.